Nigga been off too long. Mm -hmm. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. You know my Don Trip shit. I don't give a fuck if they don't like me. <laughs> That's that one. You talk some good shit on that one. All right, dude. Like Told nephew, man, man drop that Drake off. Told nephew, man, drop that Drake off. Call my shooter, uh uh, -uh whoo, knock his face off. Man, told nephew, drop that Drake off. How the journey been? If I ever from the beginning to right now. Man, fulfilling. If you know, your tree get turbulent. But well, shit, you know, uh, they, they say nothing worth having. I mean, nothing, nothing without sacrifice worth having, so. And I'm in a space, man, I get to, I get to do what the fuck I want to do. And I get to enjoy it. I get to sit in it. If I only made $10 from it, I knew I only made $10 from it before I did it. That's a, you know, that's a beautiful space to be in. I ain't got to hunt, hunt nobody down. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't in Cadillac Records. Hey. Yeah, buddy. That's the game changer, for real. It's a lot of Cadillac records out here. Oh, yeah. You got to tell me. That's a lot of them. <laughs> right. Motherfucking uh, uh, Infinity Records. Uh-huh. How you get involved with this old shit talking to that nigga right here? Which one we talking about? You talking about Joe? CP. CP? Oh, uh, man, I don't, we go back, man. I don't even know how we met or when we met. But I, I probably known him longer now than I... At this point, I've known him longer than I haven't known him. That's what I'm saying. He's a piece of shit, too. Right. No cap. Hey, man, he got some Oh, he shit talk. Me. That nigga talks some good shit, though. Oh, man. He was there when they threw me out the club in Memphis. Oh, man, what club was that? <laughs> man, what it was, level three or something? What's it called? Level two? Level, you, the, the ground used to be moving uh, in that low. bitch? Yeah. 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 Even though he was on, like, low. the second floor and shit? Yeah, he got thrown out and let me back in, because the police recognized it. <laughs> <laughs> I got kicked out for smoking. It wasn't even my blood. They had seen me at the show. They was like, I was like, I hit the bed. He was like, drop it, drop it, drop it. I was like, and they can't grab me. Where oh, weed at? She ain't got what no weed, weed, man. What, hey, brother, what uh, weed? Hey, listen, that's a guy. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but it's a, it's a club security in Memphis, boy, like my SWAT team, man. That's how they acted. Man, that's how they act now. They still act that way, man. You get, you, for about it, if man, whatever man. they feel like tossing you, nigga, they body slam me and everything, and you get jumped. Shit, they ain't saying nothing. No, they got, they in there with the uh, with the super super soaker mace, yeah, you know, spray yeah, probably long and shit. Charles the white ball. Fall the feet. Got your bitch ass. Yeah. Yeah. They that's the nigga I know got a beam on some mace. That shit get everybody near. This nigga accurate. You shot the nigga. I ain't playing neither. What a what a what a box of blood. That nigga went on an ass kicking spree last week. Well, well, May spray and spree for you. Yeah. Whooping ass for all last hey, week. Man. man, that nigga went on tour. I knew the nigga was a fool when he hit the nigga with the butt of the night. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> And then pull the bitch out. I was, like, oh, I was scared for that nigga. That nigga's blood was too dark. I was like, that nigga needs some iron or some insulin or something. Because the nigga's blood that dark. Whoever here got busted with that shit. Nigga, that nigga need to drink some water. That shit didn't even drip off his face. I can't say, nigga, be by himself. Yeah, you right. You be by himself. And then got that spray, though. All right, down. ready for the smoke with the spray. Feet. And you get 28 feet. <laughs> Y'all ass is in trouble. Y'all ass hey. in trouble, boy. Man. Motherfucker ain't missed with that spray yet, though. What? Man, not at all, boy. I need he to go so, to the car range. Oh, need right. He's whipping that motherfucker. I need that spray. Yeah. Boy, 75 yards. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna meet a nigga gonna pull out an umbrella and block that shit. What? <laughs> that nigga gonna block that bitch. Then he gonna put the burn on his ass. That nigga gonna so come back. So what he do, that nigga... Oh, man. Oh, man. You don't even want to know what other kind of gadgets and shit he got on backup. 
No, not if you're not when they run around with Super, super Soaker Mace, man. I'm spray on that shit. Yeah, no. Keep going. I don't want no smoke or spray. I don't want no smoke, man. No, I'm cool. I agree with everything you say, homie. Man, man, hey, mate, man, then that shit, that shit catch everybody. Yep. Ain't hit this nigga in the eye and everybody fucked up. That shit fuck everybody face up. That right? But they couldn't break this shit up. Go on them fights where you just couldn't break this shit up. Like, yeah. you break this fight up, it's three more motherfuckers on that fight. <laughs> Nigga, police said, fuck this shit. Yeah, but I'm gonna get it. Spraying the mace. Nigga, mace probably ain't get out my throat. And I caught like the ass end up, but I probably like three months, bro. You can still taste that shit. That shit ain't shit. That real deal, Mace? Oh, nah. That shit. What you call it? They got the bear mace. Oh, no. And they be using that shit on people. Oh, yeah, you ain't about to go fuck with no bear. I ain't getting close to no bear to spray shit. Man, that bear don't got there. Look at your ass, man. Shit. No, the fuck he ain't. That shit better make his ass turn around and go the other fucking way. I'm spraying this shit at 75 yards. I'm putting that shit on me. Have you seen Have you seen the Grizzly Bell? Man. Hell that yeah. Shit, that, that's what it's made for. It's to get them up out of there. Hey, let me tell you something. I won't be nowhere to see do the shit work, but no, I'm gonna let you but, know the shit don't work. Uh -huh. You understand me? Uh -huh. Ooh. I think it might be the only shit that works. Why you crazy here? I got the shotgun with me. We somewhere bare is that. You understand me? That's about the only thing that gets gonna take a few. No, he ain't gonna they take a few. Not them books out. Not where I'm gonna put it. You put it right in his head. No, you gotta hit him in the heart. For you real? know, the bear gonna stand up and get all aggressive and shit. You gotta hit him then. Not, I ain't, I ain't gonna be out there with no phone. Right. We ain't gonna fuck, we gonna skip that part. Right. You, can, you can do that when he down. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna let that be. No, I'm, I'm gonna call the ranger. <laughs> you know, Come get this. I, I think he did. You better not call the ranger. You know, that's what I'm saying. You know he's in danger. Right. Yeah. They tried to kill me. I was <laughs> in danger. <laughs> right. They are protected by I a national park. Right. I'm gonna say, hey, I pissed you. everything, man. And well, Shit. I guess he won't be alone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're getting about it. White people give you terrible advice when it comes to dealing with shit. They know they got some. If you ever attack by a bear, Lay down oh, and shit you. on yourself. What? <laughs> they say that shit. They say that shit. They do say play dead. They say if it's brown, lie down. If it's black, fight back. Imagine you see a black. And if it's white, it's good night because he's supposed to die. He's supposed to go eat you. He's supposed to be nowhere with no cold. Exactly. Nigga, you want to mention it, nigga. If you up there, nigga, you on that. You done fought it three times, but you you still ain't shit. You <laughs> Man, now you fought it. Man, look that way. He like, man, so she like, but they work, they work. <laughs> I so you need the bag sit there and be like, he ain't shit on himself. Get up. <laughs> like the bear Get was up. gonna start eating him like, is that shit? <laughs> I'm a nasty <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> it's you. Hey, that ain't no doo doo, man. I'm gonna bite you, man. <laughs> Hold up, I got one more try, Mr. Bear. What? That is crazy, bro. They say you're supposed to, yeah. Shit. You got me it's fucked up. It's a spot in Tennessee called Gatlinburg. Oh, yeah. Where, like, he's got all them cabins and shit. That's what they tell you when you like signing the, the you know, it's like Airbnb, but you got to sign the shit. Well, like a cabin, person. but it's, it's around bears. It's, it's, it's 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 nothing but, yeah. right, you in they, in they territory, and they tell you don't leave the, ga the garbage can open, don't leave your car doors open, don't leave the doors open, don't leave them unlocked. They say the bears not unlock, you know, how to open the doors. Like Ain't like the birds climbing two stories and everything. Try to put something in their territory. They gonna figure that shit out. That's right. <laughs> the bear's like, you nigga be standing on their two feet. Nigga, we know how to do that shit too. Like, what they doing that shit, man? Look at them. They so intrigued, I'ma eat you. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, I don't want to see. You ain't never seen them niggas ride a bike? What? Like in the circus, circus and shit. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, they can ride a bike. I was gonna say, what the fuck? That nigga be on that bitch. That nigga turn. I said, oh. For real? That's fire. You seen the band in the circus? Yeah. Oh my, on they, TV. They ride on, they ride by, and they ride got the real ride circus. Up. No, I'm saying, no, I'm I've only seen on it on TV. Way. I've been to the circus for On real. a Segway. You know the little two wheel shit? Yeah, they you know the Segway is. Yeah. Oh man, he tripping. <laughs> niggas, niggas said I was tripping when I said niggas was buying change. What? Last time when I said niggas was buying quarters and shit, you like, y'all tripping. 
Y'all yeah. telling me it's a, it's a bear on the bike. It's a bear on, yeah. It's a bear on the Segway. He in that bitch. You get him a helmet, he think he goes right. <laughs> I ain't gonna believe that shit. It's a natural see. movement, though. It's a natural movement for their feet. Like, I learned all that shit. Like, their legs do that anyway. So, any animal that naturally do some shit, it's easier for but that circus his, shit. But he, he got his balance, that. though. I was before I asked the same question. But he got his huh? balance, though. Where you be studying that? Man, I talk, man, nigga, I worked in the circus. Nigga, I know. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Nigga, what you do in the circus? Know, I ain't not. What did you do in the circus? Universal Circus. No, I'm saying, fuck where it was. The Black Circus. Oh, hype the crowd up. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, yeah. I thought, that was, that was I thought you was the was the tall one. Oh, the little shit. man got there? No, it wasn't. No, the little man was always there. Oh. He ain't, they ain't let him say a lot, though. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, keep that table <laughs> talk to a minimum. <laughs> they did. They always do the ball for like, little shit. Oh, <laughs> like, oh man. <laughs> he like, look at him. <laughs> so long, but keep it short. Yeah, they ain't want them doing too much talking, overexerting. Uh, that's not regular. So who the other nigga? So the other nigga is the ring. The ringmaster. The ringmaster is the head person that do the thing. Right. So I wasn't there. Like they brought like three of us in. You know, when I did shit. So it was you like there? improv. No, I mean around the time that he oh. went. Yeah. He knew. <laughs> I say, let me find that motherfucker. I wasn't there. He was in that training band. I was. Big. These motherfucking bears ain't listening to the real niggas. <laughs> no, they had, what you call it? They had tigers. It was a black circus. Them shit, you, you seen this shit in the ground? I know, I used to go. You remember when the niggas got loose on the highway? Huh? Who? The zebras. Oh, yeah, the zebras. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was from the zoo, nigga. No, that was not the circus. <laughs> oh, shit. That's why they can't go down there no more. <laughs> you said the niggas got loose. Yeah. <laughs> they, got, they got loose. I thought that was the zoo shit. Nah, no, that was from that was from the <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it took him a while to find that shit too. So find the zebras. Some, some zebras got it loose. A, it was a few things that got loose out there. Nigga, I remember one time one of them elephant ally like, they ain't wanna listen. He hit that motherfucker with that whip. <laughs> that motherfucker looked back and like, all right, hit me again. <laughs> no cap. They can't do that shit no more. Uh, what, can't hit him with a whip. Nah, yeah, that was back in the day shit. That like 03. And them elephants, them motherfuckers. Look. Now, okay, this is <laughs> Go and tell them what <laughs> <laughs> uh, Them niggas will rebel. Like, this is where you see animals is smart, bro. All right. Because I'm watching this shit day in and day out. Nigga, the elephants, they don't shit till they get out in the ring. <laughs> These niggas been outside all day, could have shat all day as soon as they get in the ring. <laughs> Just drop it all. I'm like, yo! Oh. Like, people sitting up front be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Like, you see people with doo-doo in their hair, like, no! Like, dog, they would, and, and he would, and then the dudes gotta sweep it up, right? At the end, because they gotta get ready for the next act, right? Mm. The next act might be like you like oh. might be some tigers. They ain't want to. They try to do it at the end, so it ain't too much left. <laughs> but then they want us all to come out with a curtain call, and everybody trying to. <laughs> bro, they could shit the whole day, bro. The whole day, like you see them over there. They over there playing with each other, yeah. hitting each other with their trunk, oh, drinking water. Outside. They got some fun, yo, man. Them niggas look at each other like. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Get it on, fella. Shit. Shit. What? That is crazy. Yeah. What was the most crazy man. shit you done seen beside the shit, though? I ain't see it, but it, I don't know if I should even talk about this shit. But <laughs> is that cold? You heard it? Uh, you got an NDA. <laughs> you must hey, I don't, I don't even know if I can say this shit on <laughs> Yeah, I heard. I heard. Uh -huh. <laughs> Them tigers fast. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> Somebody got bit then. Yo. Yeah, Tiger ain't nothing to play with, boy. Why they, but see, they be really thinking them Tiger be listening. No, them Tiger don't be their friend. They, so, so they do this, so they get in the ring, they supposed to, they put a big gate up right. around them, right? You right. seen? Right. But you'll watch them, and you see which Tigers be trying shit. Like, they supposed to sit on their little stool. And it's one, one nigga, Tiger that just gonna wait. Well, one nigga, he sit there, and then he'll turn around like he'll push on the gate to see if it's sturdy. And then act like you're regular. And he just kept getting worse every show. Like one show, he turned around and hit that bitch with both paws. And he was like, everybody was like, I was, nah, I was like, he trying to figure out if he could jump this bitch. Right? Yeah. And he figured that bitch out. <laughs> he ain't get out of there, but they had they had to the goddamn. Get his ass out of there. Hey. 
Right. You beat somebody. Hey, what's up, your man? Carlos Miller and winter is here. So make sure you're keeping that fireplace warm this year with Blue Chew. Blue Chew can increase your performance and give you that extra confidence in the bedroom. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code 85 South at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 South to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. This shit's secure. What? Man. Damn. The trainer was 19? Oh, fuck no. 19 year old right. Mexican. Mexican <laughs> dude. Shout him out. Fuck with him. He came to my show at, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh so he, he good? Huh? He good. Oh, yeah, no. He was, he did this shit. He said his, his uncle owned a bunch of animals, and he was fucking up at school, and his uncle was like, all right, if you go fuck up, then you go fuck up. And train these Learn animals. this shit. You gonna do something, right. so. Mm. Yeah. Nah, no, that's a hell of a punishment right there. Right. I'm not going in no fucking tiger cage <laughs> for talking in class. Fuck that. He might have been a tiger whisperer. <laughs> hey, you better whisper in Spanish. <laughs> Them tigers, <laughs> that's so, the thing. He said, put the key to the cat. That just goes to show you, bro. Hispanic people can do anything. <laughs> El tigre. He's a El tigre. He said, let the put the key to the cat. Damn, gang. I'm about to say he was at the circus. Hey, man. My nigga that had a, a real life out here. I just want to work at the circus. Doing what? Want to. I want to be like the rain master. That shit is fun. Are you ready? Make some noise. <laughs> this side. Are you ready to see the tigers? Are you ready to see the elephants? Hold up, DJ Pitt. <laughs> Make noise. <laughs> Did you say you really gonna start them off with? <laughs> <laughs> I used to get up. You see, you'd been the ringmaster, nigga. Man, man he practiced that shit in the mirror, bro. man. He didn't practice. He had the lines already. He auditioned for that shit, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to the N.O. He still do it. Man. He still do it, don't you? Oh, man. But uh, what you call it, man? That shit. Yeah. Man. Which one they had? They had Universal Soul Service and they had another one. Universal was always black. Right. The other one was it's the Ring Universal. Universal. That was the big one. Yeah. Right, Ring Universal. Right, right, right. They used to battle each other, didn't they? I don't no. doubt it. Not really. We've been hearing that these other circuits got our name in their mouth. We want to turn them up. It's this side, ready. <laughs> <laughs> Who has the loudest side Who under the top? Who has the loudest side under the top? <laughs> Them lights uh, go out, everybody see, got some blood glow lights you in there. <laughs> you would have been fighting until oh. them elephants shit on somebody, then you wouldn't have been wow. able to talk. Man, I wouldn't be able to do Your this. Your ass in there crying. <laughs> I can see it now. It's over. <laughs> so the people that go and sell them, right? They got slick and they started like, so we was in New York, and so they went and they bought their own little toys and mixed them in with the Universal toys. So they were selling theirs for all profit. So they might have bought them for a dollar a piece, but they in this other 15, they get to keep all that. Ooh, Cause they got to sell the other. But they fucked up because the shit was breaking and then they was taking it back. And it was like, this don't work no more. They was like, we don't sell this. <laughs> oh, man. So they were tearing All of them got caught. Oh, that's ugly. Oh, man. I love to see a good hustle. I was like, damn. Damn. I used to work for some shit like that. Like at the George Dome, when they be having like all them little games and colleges and shit, they call, it's a company that call random people to come get them jobs, bro. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to be one of them random uh -huh. ass people. <laughs> Which they pay you like. You sign up and yeah, they, they you hit you. Up, yeah, yeah. They hit you. But they pay like 45.net. Like after that gig, you might get your check 45 days later. <laughs> oh, oh, <man. laughs> they got you on that smoking paper. Oh, boy, <laughs> it's stupid the way it is. It's damn. stupid. Nigga, yeah, I used to sell the bill and realize that if folk had the correct money, you ain't never got to put it in. Oh. Oh! They fucked up. Oh, they fucked up when they right. told me. Oh, 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 you got a fifty dollars on this? Oh, the bill, eight man. Look, I'm gonna give you three on don't, don't tell, tell your homeboy. Yeah. No, oh, three. man. Man, cut the whole thing. Man, fuck these folks. Man, I get paid 45 days later. <laughs> I was about to say, man, 40 days later. <laughs> what am I gonna eat today? <laughs> what am I gonna eat today? <laughs> Who How many shrimp? people are getting paid 45 days later? No, no. You, <laughs> Who you had the shrimp? Fuck no. No, sir. Who had the shrimp? Who had shrimp? Somebody ordered shrimp. This is your shrimp? I got my food already. I ate it already. Oh, you just ordered the same shit twice? Yeah. Somebody said, no, nah, nigga, you said that. I just ordered the you wings. You said, give, give me what flood got. I said, give me the goddamn wings. Oh, they gave you the wings. put some crack on the wings. Man, you want some shrimp? Oh, yeah, you want some shrimp? No, nah, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, we done. Who? Huh. All right, new fate, acting like a young nigga. Give it to Mikey, he'll eat anything. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but you'll take it, though, but you'll take it. Be talking like, look. Like, nigga. What, is what, is what is it? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you never asked this before. What is it? <laughs> Start talking like a little kid. That ain't too hot for me. I like hot food. <laughs> Why <laughs> little kid is lying? lying? <laughs> Why did he be lying? This shit, that, bro? that ain't hot to me. <laughs> it ain't hot. I had it before. No, I'm on fire. <laughs> it's not hot. <laughs> yes, it is. You cry. <laughs> you you cry. That ain't even hot to me. My homies are the funniest, bro. I, I, I just gotta go to the bathroom. I never had this before. <laughs> tastes like. <laughs> go ahead, what it tastes like. Have you done had it before? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, I used to be one of them hungry kids, bro. Do not invite me over your house. You gotta eat. I gotta eat. <laughs> <laughs> You stupid. You stand over hey, you while you eat. Hey, boy, I, I, I can always feel when I overstay my welcome. <laughs> How you do? How you do? What was this ass? It was just, I can tell, get the, court, the house and get quiet. <laughs> You're the only one talking. I guess it's time for me to go. I'm asking myself questions. Mm, where you get this from? I guess the grocery store. Oh, they sell this? They sell this? In what aisle? Oh, man. What? I got to go. That shit. Man, you be said that shit get quiet. That shit get quiet, bro. That's funny. No What's the longest you stayed over somebody's house? Man, it, it wasn't. My mama wasn't going for that shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to go home, my boy. That street light come on. But if it was my partner house, and I already, we already established, like, the, the weekend, I try to stay till, like, that Monday. Wow, bro. Go to school, no, we gonna get breakfast. I got to stay the Monday, my boy. No mama cook breakfast, lunch, and the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pulled a lips. It's really Sunday morning, but. You stayed the whole extra I stayed day. the Sunday <laughs> dinner. <laughs> what? Yeah, Friday oh, night man. into Saturday afternoon is really when your parents supposed to come get you. It's like after school. It's like you feel me? It's like an after school. Okay, y'all had a good week. Go over to your friend's house. You spend the night. Saturday, I'm gonna come get you by five o'clock. And if it's real cool and you may, if she let you spend the night again, Sunday morning. Yeah. But nigga, it's Sunday night. <laughs> Dinner done. They in they bed clothes. They looking out the window like, where is your parents? Oh, they supposed to be there. I thought a Ben got here. You know, you know they supposed to ask that before. That's when they know. That's when I knew it was time to go. What time your mom supposed to come get you? Is <laughs> that long? How long you gonna be here? I don't know. She I on the way, ain't she? Well, you need to find out. She on the way, ain't she? Because we need to take you over there. I need to know. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we need to drop your little friend off. <laughs> oh, man. This it. Get your stuff together, man. Bro, this one I knew I blew it. I blew it, bro. I blew it, nigga. I spent the night on my partner, and then when sleeping bags was, was a thing. Yeah. Fuck a bed, a bed. 
Nigga, he ain't about to, nigga, ain't nobody finna sleep in no bed with your partner. He got a sleeping bag, he on his bed in his sleeping bag. I'm on the floor in my sleeping bag. So we just in sleeping bag. We just, nigga, I fought around and pee in the sleeping bag. <laughs> you never coming back. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Tried to hide it. Even escape it. I tried to hide it. I tried to wipe it down. I'm like, like wipe that shit down. Oh, fold it up. You know, listen, I don't walk up, fold it the sleeping bag, wrap it up, put it to the side. I'm suspect I'm, I'm up, up already. Yeah, I'm up already. I'm up and dressed. <laughs> I would took my shower. <laughs> About sleeping in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping bag just busy. <laughs> what are you for? I'm super dressed. I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm sleepy still. Nigga, I done peed in the. And she knew something. She was like, man, she went in that motherfucker. She pulled me to the side. She was like, did something happen in that sleeping bag? I was like, she was like, don't lie. I was like, yes, man. She was like, it's all right. You ain't got to be like that. It wasn't a lot, though, but it was enough. I was like, I'm sorry. It probably wasn't a lot because it dried. Yeah, it yeah. I pee, I pee pee. <laughs> Nigga, I thought about the choice. I was like, whoo. That, that shit was. crazy. That nigga had the pee dream. <laughs> that be the worst one. You be in your dream and the pee don't be going where it's supposed to go. You're like, what the fuck? But this the thing, though. In the toilet. But this the thing, though. Oh, I, listen, man. I had the pre-warning dream before it even happened. It was like, you know how you were like, they go to the toilet and you caught yourself and you were like, oh, shit. Woo! Okay, I'm st- uh, I, I can sleep. Yeah, I went back to sleep. My dumb ass, boy, once I went to sleep, it was like, bus stop, pee pee. <laughs> Why pee all in that goddamn sleep, man? I said, damn. Damn, flat. I could have stopped myself. I'd have beat. Damn, flat. You had not good company, oh, my boy. Shit. I really am, because I don't overstay my welcome. I just stay too long. Like, I ain't no needy ass nigga. <laughs> no, nah, cause I ain't no needy ass nigga. Like, yo, like your folks will forget I'm there type shit. Oh, okay. Like, right. I fuck around telling myself, they like, hey, nigga, you still here? Hold up. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm supposed to stay in the room. Oh, okay. You be out the way. Yeah, I be out the way. You be trying to stay as long as you can. Yeah. I be like, shh, they don't know if they're here. Oh, man. <laughs> Where you going home? It's Wednesday. <laughs> hey, hey, they mama come in, I act like dirty clothes. I'm... <laughs> I'm like, please, I hope she ain't see me. What? I do not want to go home, boy. You got me fucked up. I broke all the rules at my partner's house, bro. All of them. God damn. All of them. You ever had somebody come over your house and your parents have to inform you of some shit they did? When your friend going home? No, he ate man. a whole box of moon pies. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, that was, that was my little cousin. <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> he eat everything. <laughs> Yeah, boy. <laughs> Don't let you have no ego. No, look. I keep telling nigga, ego was some shit. My mama shit. used to keep her shit <laughs> hidden in her room, mm-hmm. and we knew where it was at, but we knew how to, you know, how to ration it and not go in there. You know, it it was three of us, right. but we got a lot of cousins and shit. <laughs> so the three of us, we knew how to ration it, and it'd be like the twenty-four box of the uh, what them shit, them oatmeal pies and oh, shit. Yeah. Oh man, Pat been fucking 400 pounds his whole life, man. He about he probably about seven years younger than me. He always been four times bigger than me. Right, man. If he find out where them shits at, he running. Man, the whole get cleared. They get man, they get cleared. The yeah, yeah, the whole box is over. It ain't happening. See, my, see, my mama old school. She knew she wasn't gonna cook, so she just set movie traps up. <laughs> She'll leave a, a box of cinnamon swirls like right before the kitchen. <laughs> They'll be right there. You'll be like, I'm hungry. You know what? I'll take a cinnamon swirl. <laughs> <laughs> it won't even go in the kitchen. I'd have had a whole box of cinnamon swirls. <laughs> Taking out a hat. Bro, that's why I snack to this day. Like, it's food. It's not food, bro. Oh, man. You've been snacking all day. Yeah. So Pat done got damn ran through a box. <laughs> And got everybody and blew the whole operation. Yeah, buddy. Got everybody caught. Everybody that motherfucker made a pet. And black on that shit that they fucked. That's this. Y'all know I 
I eat this. I eat, y'all know I eat this. Y'all know I eat this. That shit become a whole ordeal. Who ate it? Everybody in here right now. Who ate it? Cause she bogey, knowing that wasn't nobody gonna fuck with it. Man, like I said, man, you know, it's just it's I black kids. Whatever you bring around them getting ate the fuck up. I remember one time my cousin and them got in trouble for some shit like that. This nigga that ate up all his mom's slim fast bars. <laughs> Why the fuck would you eat slim? Why would you put that? Why would you eat that shit? She was going off. Man, them motherfuckers. They don't even taste like weight loss, boy. Oh, oh, they like chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Man, you can't even eat that shit. Why would you eat that shit? Slim fast fell off hard in the motherfuckers. They fell off hard. Them motherfuckers, them motherfuckers had took over. Man, women started enjoying getting cut. Dang. Surgery. Slim fast wasn't gonna work no more. They started cut. They said, "Fuck it." Slim fast take two. Lambs at forty-five. They pay me. You talking about? Yes, it was. They wouldn't work out. Do that shit. Yes, it was. And that yeah. slim fast one number got down. Uh, that speed. Just, just get your though. shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Hell, you all jittery yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you done shook it off. You done shook it off. You done had the goddamn nerve to say you, you ain't work out for shit, but nigga, the pounds coming off. Yeah, bitch, you can't sit still. <laughs> <laughs> But you ain't sat down in three months. That shit that came from the jitter. That shit that came from the jitter. I don't know. I don't know. 55. I bet you done had the jitter. But three weeks straight. You been asleep in two weeks. Damn. Damn. They went around shivering. Damn, slim fast. That's all the 80s was, though, is speed. They put speed in every damn thing. The, even the shit that people was taking. You remember Dexter Trim? Dexter Dream. Yeah. That's Dexter Dream. They Man. tried to give you that for ADD. That was before Adderall took off. Exactly. Mm. And they call it Dexter Trim. Oh, man. Yep. Damn. Wasn't even no workout plan. Nope. <laughs> hey, just eat this and don't eat. Right. <laughs> what happened to that P90X motherfucker? Now, that was really a workout shit. That was doing nothing but niggas doing cardio. I mean, yeah, it was just... <laughs> Nigga gave you a plan to right. do. Give you a plan, I'm gonna get you three dances to do. <laughs> like, bro, what the fuck? I don't need a swole nigga to work out in front of me to tell me what to do. Go and on. now we're gonna do push up. Nigga, I know how to go. <laughs> get on the ground. I can't can stand up. You're not gonna tell me I'm cheating. Well, y'all did let Billy Blanks invent Tybo. Yeah, but he ain't all that shit too, boy. Hey. Okay, now we're gonna work out to some Ice Cube instrumentals. <laughs> man, <laughs> fuck out of here, man. <laughs> The Ice Cube instrumentals on today. Taekwondo boxing. Me, three white girls, and two white boys gonna really get y'all in shape. Come on. Oh man. Remember his son? Mm-mm. Oh, his son. Did the blank son? Boy, he was. What happened? Boy, he was sassy. <laughs> oh, that wasn't the P90X motherfucker, was it? No, it was, I think it was his son, man. And he had to say, he had a workout program, but his was super sad. He was like... <laughs> <laughs> he said it was sweeter. What happened, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we could do workouts, but he wouldn't, his head be straight all the time. All right. And we turn, it turn, <laughs> and turn. <laughs> This nigga not really working out. Look at that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he was trying to take what Richard Simmons was doing, but he was like, it was, yeah, he's like, he looked like he mixed. Oh, man. <laughs> hell no. Nah. That's a hell of a person follows from Richard Simmons. Jesus, like, on the 80s. Man. That's when crack came in, I guess. <laughs> now, they was obsessed with working out and everything being sugar free and. Uh -huh. Fat free and shit. The whole Jim That's Craig and then the whole they found out all that shit was a scam anyway. And it was bad for you. All that bullshit. Shit got to be. They try to make the fake sugar. That's worse than the real sugar. The uh, what's the shit? The uh, Nutri Slim and shit. Saccharin. That's all shit. So no, I thought you were talking about the uh, Splendor shit. Yeah, yeah that, that shit. shit that shit ain't like good for you. Ain't nothing <clears> shit good for you. Let them tell. I shit. say that. Really I smoke ain't. a back. The real shit or the fake shit. You feel me? No, you're right. 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 That's why you got to learn chemistry so you can just do just enough of this you shit seen, you to balance cook, it out. Right. You cook crack and melon. Melon sizzling. What? Do what? Nigga, the, the watermelon was sizzling. For, for A what? A cup though? of watermelon. Like when they cut it, that shit just started 
sizzling like. It was that hot? It was that fake. <laughs> oh, man. I oh, ain't seen that they, they cut a water, but they got a watermelon out the stump. Man, cut the watermelon, that bitch get the sizzling. And the one motherfucker was like, I heard something pop in my pantry. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The white woman said, I heard something pop in my pantry. You know, go in the pantry, that shit look like a crime scene, nigga. The watermelon done bust, but it's inflated like a flat basketball, and it like he pussy. What the fuck what did you see this on? Nigga. I just seen some strange TikTok. shit online, but I, <laughs> I seen a nigga take a spoonful of green shit and make a leaf of lettuce, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, it's some, some water, the movie yeah, water. Yeah, and, and then yeah. the next thing they you know, the motherfucker I, got lettuce. Yeah, I seen that. I don't know what country he was in, but that shit didn't look right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we. That we, ain't lettuce. But it, shit, he made a whole know head of lettuce. Is, exactly. Uh huh. Bam. I don't know. I don't trust none of this shit. Ever since cheese stopped melting, I don't fuck with none of this shit. You know snow don't melt. You know that shit turned black. <clears throat> All right. No. Thank you, the game. Get the snow in your hand and put, put, put a fire on it. Watch how that shit turn black. All right. That shit sh snowed last time. Yeah. Last time we had some snow, I don't know what that was. That shit was plus. Oh. Man, all right. The snow I used to uh, eat back in the day. Oh, no. <laughs> it, was, it was, it tasted you like were, ice. You it might have been black then. <laughs> <laughs> but it was dissolving on my skin back then. This oh, shit man. don't dissolve. This shit, you put that shit together, you like, man, I put some fire in there. I'm like, why is this shit turning black? Oh, man. It's supposed to melt. It pulled them out. Because the icicles used to damn show melt. You put some heat on that motherfucker. So the snow dirty. But the snow ain't real. They playing. Ain't no, ain't no snow, man. So. You never ate no snow. Like when you, when you got hit with a, with a snowball, you might want to eat that little part. <laughs> 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 he gon' like shit off his head. head. <laughs> nah, I mean, I got hit with a big one. But it was enough. You know? <laughs> like that? You got it. You swallow that little part. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? Oh, man. These kids don't know nothing about this shit. No, that shit, you can't eat it now, apparently. That shit. Hell, no. I seen that cheese, that shit you talking about, that shit turned black. How the snow stepped on, mm. that's crazy. The snow ain't even pure. Bro, they... Ain't, we ain't even talking about cocaine. I seen this... We've been eating Skittles our whole goddamn life, and we just now finding out we were never supposed to be eating them. For real? Why? Why? We, See, we ain't all found that out. Oh. I definitely had some green ones the other day. What you supposed to do with them, Look man? it up. <laughs> what you supposed to do Somebody with them, look it up. Man. They had to recall on all the Skittles. They what said they you wasn't supposed to eat bad, this bad? shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's bad, bad. What you mean? Well, I mean, they been on the shelf for at least a good 35. They ain't there right now, but they say you, you ain't even supposed to eat this shit. Jesus. They ain't, they never got me with the regular Skittles, but them sour Skittles. Ooh. Man. Nickels. Tear your mouth up. Going crazy. Mouth be numb. You got to eat them perfect. Can't even taste food no more. <laughs> Just, <laughs> the, roof of my, the roof of my mouth cut up. I bet it is. <laughs> What they say about Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola always supposed to be bad. That shit clean bro. rust, don't it? Yeah, you do, huh? Because I drank it and put it on my battery at the same time. I'm like, I'm like drink something in before I waste it on this battery. I drank it and spit it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go and drink something in before I put it on this battery. Go, woo! Boy, that, that's going to do the trick right now. <laughs> that shit, that shit so bad, I just be trying it on shit. <laughs> Man. Anything wrong, let me try this with this little Coca-Cola on this motherfucker. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> get this paint out of this goddamn man, paint, bro. I tell you what, give me one goddamn Coca-Cola. Coca <laughs> hey, rub this Coca-Cola on my back. <laughs> I don't know what's in it, but I need it, but that shit's strong. Hey, give me some baby oil and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Paintbrush. What? By who? No, some of the clouds are real, but some of them clouds? are fake because... People oh, are playing shit. with them. That's what I about to say on Discovery Channel. Somebody was making cloud. with the cloud. And they were making the cloud, putting them in the air, bro. No cap. It's yeah. a machine. Literally See, making cloud. Big machine. Big machine. Super big. That motherfucker. Pause, my boy. Hmm? Pause. <laughs> <laughs> talking about machine. All right, say them all. Uh, it was a machine. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be some New York niggas watching this like, yo, pause, my nigga. I got y'all. I got y'all. Pause, son. Because I said, it's a machine. machine. It's a big machine. Pause. <laughs> like, like, these niggas never look at the context. That be the problem. <laughs> nigga, I said a machine. These niggas don't care. Right. Oh, man. But nah, it would definitely look like a big ass, like, fucking cloud machine, and that shit was making them. And they, they was putting them bitches in the air, bro, bro. I ain't never seen that no shit. No cap. Man, we ain't talking about the cloud seeding. 
Make them motherfuckers rain. Cloud season. Seeding. Oh, man, I, I thought he... That's why it don't be real rain. That's why that shit be fucking up nigga's car. Nigga be like, I just got my car painted. No, that was a fake cloud that pissed on your on your car. That was gross. Hey, man, you go deep with your theories, <laughs> That was wild. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. Because I know my car ain't supposed to look like this. <laughs> if it's just water, my boy. God damn. I don't know. I don't know if I seen the fake clouds, man. Now I'm telling you, on this National Discovery Channel, my boy, they ain't going to show everything. You got to go kind of look for this shit. <laughs> yeah, clearly. It's up, but that's the thing, though. It's so much information out there, they can't control all the information. That's why I think social media kind of backfired. Man, I thought you was dancing. Hell no. It kind of like backfired. <laughs> Hell no, man. Ain't no time. Right. He ain't dancing. Right, break he just got up and started dancing. He just learned how to swim. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think he got another skill? Yeah. No, he do. You need to learn how to break dance, too. Yeah, he learned how to swim. Ain't bullshit. I ain't bullshit. Correlate. You gonna fuck around and dive sideways on the man. Fuck you, DC. Hold on, that nigga. Yeah, damn, love. Swim, swim. Find like, like you a professional. Swim in a swimming pool to swim. Both. Okay. Like save your life, swim. Uh, okay, that's oh, real. Oh, it don't went from it don't went from saving your life now. Oh, you know how to save no, somebody's life. Your life, mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. That should never be the reason you got too much water. I about to say, God damn. <laughs> I ain't saving your life. Because really? that way, when you ask him, you like, you know how to swim, swim, but save your life. He's like, I'll save everybody's life. That's no, what I do. No, no, no. You can't save everybody. What? Oh, shit. We can swim the, together. The, the right nigga pull your ass down with him. Let me tell you something. Right. Once shit. I tell you what to do and you do opposite, I will leave you, my boy. I'm going to spray on your ass. Let me tell you something. If I say, hold up, and you like, I can't. Well, you can't. Y'all gone. <laughs> I, done, I done told you. He ain't going to catch your I done elbow. told you. I I'm can't a, see him get your motivation to speech, my shit. boy. We gotta swim. You better stick this. Get up. <laughs> I, I, you, you got that. You can't go there, man. He wanna leave. And I can't do it. These motherfuckers play too much, man. Hey, man, I gotta go, man. It's different on land. If you're running the races, I think I got you. I get yeah, you to Come on, the, man. I, come on. We in water, bro. Hey. Hey, water, nothing. But you'll you be some, keep but your you'll, head up here. I can't. I don't have to go in there and, 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 and do Say that. Say somebody. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit if I'm on my way to right. swim the year, yeah, right. and you splash water in my face, fuck you. <laughs> you stupid. It's worse like God. You talk, what are you talking about? The people panicking? What are you panicking? <laughs> Them I, I, like, no yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, calm down. Turn back around. <laughs> you get tired, you <laughs> Them niggas will pull you under to stay on top. Nigga, that ain't swimming. Right. <laughs> you gonna kill both of them. Right. No. No, nah, man, my, my, my nephew. Get up out of there. This nigga jumped like in the five, six feet. And probably one number like three feet. Mm. <laughs> Had to go in that. Come on, man. Get That's when you gotta jump in with all your clothes on and get them up. Well, you can't even think. Just, Nick, man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. man. Yeah. I literally grabbed that nigga from his waistline and pushed from the bottom, because he was a big nigga. I had to push. <laughs> boy, I had to push. I'm like, this nigga big as hell, boy. Nah, yeah. Got his ass up out of that, though. Yeah, that water's scary with them kids, man. Yeah. But that's why when I go like in the ocean and shit, I be home. It's, it's healing because it's spiritual, but I respect the water. Like, I'm at peace. Well, I'm, when I know the water, where I'm like, I don't want no problem I, I with you. With the swimming pool. I'm not even really. The, I fuck with the hot tub. I fuck the with only the thing shower. I probably do is piss in the water. I ain't fucking with no ocean, man. I'm cool. That cool. You can pee pee in the water, but no, I ain't gonna I ain't disrespect going, you. No, I ain't gonna know what Ned. You don't know how to swim? I can swim. And swimming ain't what I'm worried about. Man, I was in, in the, uh, I don't know, I was in Miami. I was in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And. Man, shit just was crawling on all over me. I'm like, man, I don't know. What, I don't like this, man. I look down, man. It's like a whole school of fish. Them shit's just there. I'm like, damn, I ain't scared y'all. You scared me. Shit. <laughs> For real? Yeah, buddy. I don't like that. I don't like the feeling at all. A fish? Man, yeah, exactly. You know, a fish. A live fish. Yeah, you, can yeah, that shit. you couldn't see them. Now, you like clear fish and shit. I don't know what them shits was. But you couldn't see them shits, but you feel them. I'm like, nah, I'm cool. You sure want see me? I was, I was about this, this far in that shit. You should want seaweed. Whatever it was, they ain't see me no more. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> right, you in their territory. You in Miami, I'm you cool. know uh, the, uh, they got jellyfish close. See? See what I'm talking about? Yeah. You said jellyfish quick. I ain't got to worry about that. And dolphin. I ain't, look, you know, the water be like, right here. 
Right. That's as far as I'm going. Like when it when it come on the sand a little that's bit. It. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's all it. I need. I'm put cool. No, nah, I'm oh, cool. You want them old I ain't there for that. I can't put that the, water on me. I can't because my wife want to be there. I ain't there for to the, be yeah. in the water. She just want to take pictures. So that's yeah. all right, we good. See, I ain't touching the water. I'm, 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 I'll you pass. Water. I, I can't still got my it. shoes on. Get me on the jet ski. I'm going stupid, man. <laughs> that's why I went to Miami last time. Los ain't go that time. He want he want a professional then. Oh, man. I was like, come on the boat, man. You know, I will let y'all when, when y'all get back on the land. Yeah, like, what? Was, on yeah, land? I went on the boat. I ain't going to jet ski. You ain't go, you didn't go on the boat then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he dad sure went on the boat. Yeah, I ain't fucking with that. Yeah, but you doing too much. Yeah, we chilling. Mm -hmm. See, in the swimming pool, I can touch the bottom and bounce my ass back up out of there. Right. You can't do that in the ocean. No, you got, you got to swim. No, That's fuck where your that. swimming tactics come in. Uh huh. At. Fuck all that. We ain't taking no chances. My dumb ass jumped in the ocean with the dolphins just so I could say I was in the ocean with See, the dolphins. I ain't doing none of that. Not knowing that they could pull your stupid ass down. See? I didn't know that. Well, they can do a lot of shit. I'm cool, the man. If we on the right. boat. Yeah, and I heard they some freaky. Freaky yeah. dolphins could have done a lot to you, my boy. Dolphins could have done a lot to you, my boy. boy, I heard the dolphins be fucking shit. There'd be two of them just swimming off with you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, they ready to try it on you. <laughs> shit, you know what I mean? We got us one. We got us one. And we got you us a little eater. <laughs> oh, we got man. us a little munch. God <laughs> damn. What? Them dolphins are freaking motherfucking animals, man. Why you think they be smiling all the time? You ain't never seen no mad dog. <laughs> you That's how they swim. They swim like they fucking. Oh, oh, man. You know, what kind of fish get up out the water and do this shit? <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no other fish. Fish jump out the water and shit, but there ain't no other fish that get out of the water. On top of the water, bro. <laughs> I tell you to suck it. Suck this shit. Suck this. What you want me to suck this, motherfucker? <laughs> hey, man, y'all fucked up, man. Shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I too much fun. Exactly, man. Yeah, I'm having too much fun. We all having too much fun. Oh, we man. having so much fun that I ain't even told these people. Welcome back to the oh, 85 oh, South Coast. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> I ain't know we were recording. Man, we've been recording. We got to talking about too much good shit, and you don't fuck that up. Oh, man. But we got a very special guest in the trap with us today, man. man we've been, we've been. Waiting to get you up in here for a, for a minute. Record. That's what the real life for then, huh? Exactly. I thought the real life mean nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> real life mean go. I get it. Real I life dig it. Oh. Well, you can already look and tell who we got in here with us today. I'm One of the coldest, it. hardest rapping this niggas in the rap hey, game. Man, right I appreciate now. it. Storytelling. One of the coldest storytellers, shit talkers, all that, man. <laughs> Punchline, punchline, gun bars, whatever it is, street shit, real shit. Yeah. They gonna smirk really a little gun Jesus bars. sitting up to yeah. me, all that. Oh, definitely got some crazy ass gun bars. Oh, you indeed. already know that. None other than Mr. Don Tripp. Yes, sir. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Been highly requested people hey, been hitting us for the longest time. And brother. I want you to, I, hey, I put my work in. I told you, I hit them. I said, bro, we need you on the show. He said, I'm coming. Fast. Just let me, let me get this shit out the way. I'm doing something. When I got something to talk about, I'm coming. I said, all right. Yeah, buddy. So here we go. Man, again. How you been, man? Man, I'm alive. I cannot complain. Don't, then. Yeah, yeah. Don't complain. Shit. That don't never help. Hell no. Nah. Nobody likes a complainer. Right. <laughs> True that. Going, True that. Hear your shit so they can beat it. With they shit. Yeah. You like, the, you like the coldest, though. I appreciate you it. You like the cold. I, I always say, like, any, any rapper that I specifically was putting on, like, my YouTube, you talking about click on my laptop, on the computer, play this while I'm I'm in the trap. Yeah. I'm I'm doing some, you can relate. <laughs> right. But not only that, you were going through real shit and telling niggas, like, you got to overcome that shit. Yeah. You got to stay in 10 toes, bro. Sure. You got to rap. Hey man, you know it's a it's fulfilling to know that you know I can get this far ahead just by being myself. I mean, you know, in in every facet of the entertainment, it's real easy to get tricked into being who people want you to be. Mm -hmm. And then in real time, you know, when you go 
you know, you can be whatever when that camera on, then they, you, know, you run to a nigga in Kroger. And nigga like, damn, man, shit, damn, bro, you dry as hell. Damn, right. what's up, bro? Right. You know, I ain't never want to, you know, I ain't want to be in, I ain't never want that to happen. I ain't want to, you know, like they always say, uh, no, never meet your idols and all that shit. Because, right. you know, who they are when you, you know, when you watch them or paying attention to them, man, who they really are. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, you know, I ain't, that ain't the space I want to be in. Because in real time, you know, my music started popping, but I was still in the trap, man. You know, I ain't got all the chains and all the fancy cars and shit. So, you know, when you see me out wherever, you don't immediately think I fell off because you don't see all the 90 chains I had on in the last fucking seven interviews you saw me in and shit. And, you know, it, it, like I said, shit just, man, it's, just, it's wonderful to see that I can reap the benefits of, of being myself. I ain't really had to, you know... And in this, you know, shit, I'm 38. I'm my own boss. I've been my own boss for so long. Like, it'd be certain shit I got to say. You know, I had like I had to tell myself, like, you know, we, we good, we comfortable, but we don't want to be comfortable. When you get comfortable, you know, that's when you start losing everything. Right. So, you know, we always stay at it. And just like shit this year, man, I've been running. I was like, fuck it. I ain't, I ain't got no rules. I ain't got no plan. And, you know, at least not in that aspect. You know, of mm -hmm. course, I got, I got goals. I set goals and shit, but... For the most part, man, I ain't sit and try to make it be a lot. For <clears throat> for a long time, it, it held me up trying to make sure shit was perfect. Mm -hmm. and that shit don't ever happen, man. You know, you be trying to get that shit to get situated and fucking around have a baby. Right. And that shit, <laughs> that shit, for real shit, that shit piles everything. You know, right. you, you be like, uh, man, I had set up two tours for uh, 20, 2021. Mm -hmm. And COVID hit. COVID was like, fuck what you talking about? Shit, I'm stuck in the house. I'm a, you know, I'll be in the house anyway. But, you know, that was a, a time where, you know, I took my time. I'm like, all right, we're going to wait till we got everything situated, everything lined up. And then, you know, you wake up and they like, shit, it's a curfew. Everybody got masks on now. You can't even right. gather and shit. Right. They hit me with that. I, we lost a lot of money doing that. Mm -hmm. But that was my point, though. You know, you, you can't really, you can't wait for the perfect moment. Because ain't no perfect moment. You right. just got to strike. You, you know, do what you're doing and figure it out along the way. Because experience is the best teacher no matter what. Right. I'm sure, you know, when y'all start doing this shit, y'all ain't say, well, let's wait till we got the $40,000 cameras before we start. Right. No, nah, nigga said, well, look, you know, we got this. Let's go get this and borrow that or rent this and rent that. <clears throat> and then, you know, eventually that shit got you in the space where you at. Yeah. I seen y'all niggas doing drops earlier. That shit, the way y'all do that shit, that shit was, that shit was effortless. Yeah, I first started doing that shit. That shit went. Eff I know it wasn't. I hate. I still hate doing drops. Right. Y'all like tag team them shits. Right. Nigga, I be like, that's constant at the what the fill huh? <laughs> All right, brother. Let's just say that shit again. Who the what? <laughs> like y'all did that shit. Like you know that that show you that experience is the best teacher no matter what you can go and practice that shit all day until you start running that shit like trying to you know try to learn how to ride a bike sitting in the house ain't right. never gonna happen you got you an expert in the house right. you take your ass outside get on that bike and you know when you get you get to paddling and you ain't playing for no rock or no fucking stick or that goddamn dog that's down you know two houses yeah, down right real. now your ass got a right. pedal for real right. shit get real then right. but you know I, I, be, I feel like that's you know that's that's how, that's how I function best instead of just sitting trying to figure that shit out to be, you know, trying to come up with a grand plan and all that shit. We just do that shit as we go on. Just jump in to do it. Right. Like I said, shit, this time we call, man, I'm like, shit, let's do it. Fuck trying to Definitely line it up, set it up, nigga. I'm with it. Let's work it out. How you change from, you said you used to be a perfectionist. And I know you said the kids had something to do with it. Yeah. But... Is, is, is that, was that the key really that clicked you over and then like, fuck it, I just yeah, gotta do this shit, I can't keep kids Cause like, with my, with my first two kids, I thought I had it figured out. <clears throat> and then third child, one not like them two, you know, the first two one like one, you know, uh, it wasn't like copy and paste. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, it's just two of them, you can kinda adjust to it. Mm -hmm. And then my third child was a complete, like, it was a curveball. Like, yeah. my third child came, my well, premature, she came, like, two months too soon. We had okay. tubes and shit. Doctor said she wasn't going to make it. Okay. And shit, she 11 now. So, you know, that was a blessing yeah. itself. But uh, that's what I'm saying. So, so right. with that, you know, I wanted, you know, before then, my, my idea of having a baby was just, you know, woman push your baby out. My first two kids, they, uh, my baby mama had to have a C-section both times. That was, you know, that was a whole kind of 
the second time, I, you know, I, I felt like I'm used to it now. I get it. Oh, you know, all right, I'm familiar with this. And, you know, third child come out prematurely. Couldn't have expected that. I want nothing I could have done to prepare me for that. Right. And being real, I ain't handled that like I should have handled it. But that, you know I'm saying, that's what, you know, that I looked at that. I know I didn't handle that right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. and it because I was scared. I was fucking, I was super frightened. They told me my child going to die. And I'm like, you know, last thing I want to do is be there when my child die. And in real time, my baby mama was there every day. And I also, that's where I was supposed to be. I was supposed to be her support. Mm -hmm. I wasn't supposed to just, you know, I, I'm so scared for my damn self. Fast forward, I ain't with her, but still, you know, I learned a lot from that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, to see my, my daughter now, and she, you know, she is completely like, man, everything I thought I knew about parenting or kids, all that shit, shit went out the door. Like, like my daughter, like, I like, you know, I grew up, Jordan was the shit. Jordan was like gold. Well, my mama couldn't afford that shit, so I just got to watch other niggas wear them shits. <laughs> so when I got, you know, old enough and, you know, we was out in the street, I'm, my money went to Jordan's. I ain't wore nothing else since fucking probably like 22. Since I was 22 to right now, I don't, I don't own nothing that ain't an Earth Jordan. Mm -hmm. But it means something to me. It's symbolic to me. It's symbolic to me, but... You see, I don't play yeah, sports either. You, <laughs> I ain't want to stop your, your important message, bro. <laughs> Boy, receiver, no, no sir. No, not at all. <laughs> I was, I was selling. I was good at, at the other, other stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I understand. <laughs> you know what? what you had that basketball right there. Yeah, yeah. you keep that. Got my, my, money back me right. a hundred ball. Shoot, <laughs> I wasn't talking that shit yet. But you know, I play defense. Right. We are gonna play sports. You know, but we playing sports. Either way. You know, my, my kids, as as they got older, you know, I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to buy my kids Jordans, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. that's the shit. Mm -hmm. Man, I went in the store, and the time, it, they still do it now. Like, you know, first they start with them schedules and shit, the shoes are light up, mm -hmm. and, you know, they were so determined. I'm like, no, I'm not buying that shit. And I buy them Jordans, Now I ain't like them. And, you know, they want to, you know, when they get to dress themselves, they want to put them they shoes, on. shoes on. Right, they, we gonna, I'm going to say, go put your shoes on. They going to come downstairs with the, with the Crocs. Now I'm adjust the light up. Right. Them motherfuckers mother don't stop lighting up. Right, right. So I, you know, I spent whatever we spent on buying all the kids' Jordans for no fucking reason. And at some point, you know, I had to, had to grasp it and get it. You know, in real time, I'm doing this not so they experience everything I experienced, but so they get to experience the shit I didn't get to experience. Right, right. And sometimes I have to keep that in mind, like when I be buying outrageous shit. Like, my, my, I got a 12-year-old daughter say she want to, for her birthday, she want me to buy a power wheel and put a real motor in it. I say no way in hell. <laughs> By two years ago, I would have failed for that dumb shit. Right, right. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't going there. Well, you, wheel, right, you 12, motor. you need a bicycle, right. or a, a big bicycle. I can get you a scooter. Yeah. Right, a motor. man, no, nah, we ain't going, she talking about a fucking power wheel with a real motor. Some shit she seen on, on TikTok, and that's yeah. another thing. Yeah, that, yeah. that's what I'm saying. corners and do some driving. Yeah, she doing some real shit. We ain't doing oh, all that. Yeah, basically, oh, yeah. No. But that's what I'm saying. Because they wheel Jeep, but they put like, they upgrade the battery on the shit. Instead of that motherfucker going five miles per hour, it go 50. 50. See, yeah. we ain't doing all that. Hey, boy, what you got? Like one of them hardware batteries in that bad boy. Yeah, from a power drill. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm scared know. of that kind of shit. But that's what I'm saying. That, like, that shit I couldn't have prepared for. I thought I had it figured out. And, you know, just even that, with this TikTok shit, like, you know, we ain't growing no motherfucking, we ain't growing without, you know, our internet did the, you know, the, the, right. <laughs> we ain't, you know, we ain't have, my, right, and if my mama get on the phone, it's over. Right. Every, it's, yeah. it's dead. Yeah, all that shit for hey, the, well, all that shit yeah. shit. Exactly. Down. Now they got that shit on everything. They, my, I, my daughter got in trouble. I took her iPad, took her phone. She found a fucking iPod I bought fucking 12 years ago. And put that same thing. Put your TikTok shit on the iPod. <laughs> I'm like, wow. I, you know, them shits is obsolete. They don't right. even make software for that shit right, no more. Right. No. Just so, show me you smart as hell, though. Right. And sneaky as right. hell. Right. But that's what I'm saying. You know, that back to like you were saying, that that was the, you know, that was my turning point. That let me know. I ain't got this shit figured out, and I ain't never gonna have it all the way figured out. Right. So, you know, I just gotta take what I do know and dive on out there. Just like, you know, like you said, you, you learn how to swim. You ain't sit there and read no book. I'm like, okay, so I do my arm, like, 
this. Oh, he got a teacher. Right, I'm saying, but you had to go out there and do that shit. Yo, you got to get active. Exactly. And, you know, I just took the same approach. At some point, I just said, fuck it, man. I can't sit and study this shit all day. I got to go out here and do it. So take and shit back. kept changing. So, so take so. them back. Like, I want to know <clears throat> the Don Trip, told the kid, how did you pick up a pen and go crazy with man, the rapping shit? Man, I've been rapping since I was 11. You got, I don't, my timelines are always going to be horrible, but... When I seen Chris Cross on TV, like that did it. Man, you couldn't have made me want to be nothing else. I ain't want to be no basketball player, no doctor, no physician, nothing. Right. I wanted to rap. I wanted to rap right then. It was right. kids. Kids can do this shit. Of course, shit that happened then. Right. But you know, I was writing raps at eleven, thinking I was gonna be the next you know, motherfucking. Like I thought I was gonna be Bow Wow before Bow Wow popped right. off. <laughs> and then you know, as time progressed, it, you know, it, it, I saw more and more children doing it. And fast forward to now, you see a lot of the kid stars went went fucking whack. So it was, a whole, you know, they whole lives is upside down now. But either way, you know, I watched kids doing it, and I, you know, I looked at that shit like, shit, I can do it. So, shit, I begged with mama. I, my Christmas, get, you know, my Christmas list changed. It went from, like, you know, Nintendos and shit to Fisher-Price uh, karaoke machines and shit. Mm. And shit from that, I just I just kept at it. And, you know, my verses at 11 was hard. My verses at 16 was hard, but I was lying my ass off at 16. You, you I had Lamborghinis and everything <laughs> in the verses, boy. Man, all that shit. I had Lambos, Bugattis, and all kinds of shit in my verse. Cash money verse. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Money. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, again, it's the only way you learn experience. Yeah. Yeah. But, man, at some point, I got older and life started happening. I think the kids is what kind of, the kids is what gave me my. My my image, so to speak, mm -hmm. that's what showed me, you know, because it went from it went from me. I you know I used to rap like um, like Cassidy, you know, just all punchlines. I ain't got to really correlate with the line before or the after it. Mm -hmm. But here's a punchline. When I get through with this one, I got another punchline. Mm -hmm. And like I said, life started happening, and rap became like. Uh, um, you no, know, but shit, y'all black men, so you know you don't get to really vent. Yeah. Like we just said, said and go, I don't mm -hmm. complain. Mm -hmm. So the microphone became that. I went, you know, it used to be like rap, and it'd be fun to shit, you know. I feel like crying right now, and I'm trying to hold it in. And, you know, words is coming to us, so shit, we write. That's how we wind up a letter to my son in real mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That shit just, you know, you that shit that. took you over. Feel that. You feel right. That. Not, not only on that song, like right. there's a lot of records where you Feel right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I was already in that that space. It just so happened that Letter to My Son wound up being a record that was that was you know that so many people could relate to, and that was another turning point. I'm like you know when I got to that space, I was uh you know I, like I said I was still trying to make the music that that make people jump up and down, and that shit caught. And you know I was trying to figure out how because it was like the it was the worst moment in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know, how is it that this is what, what grab people? And, you know, sooner or later I realized it just was the honesty in it. Mm -hmm. And you listen to me. You know, it's a lot of, lot, I think, I think all of the, the, the different flavors in music belong. Because I think you need everything. I need, I mean, I think you feel like partying and shit, you don't want to listen to me because I ain't no party nigga. Mm -hmm. You definitely no party. Right, so you want to listen to, you know, the shit that, that gave you that energy and shit, I want to party. When you get through partying, you realize you spend way too much fucking money in the club. Right. Now right. my music makes sense to right. you. Right. But that's what I'm saying, I feel like all that shit be needed. It like, you know, uh, an old head used to tell me, uh, it take all walks of life to make the world go around. It wasn't too many getting money, hustler, everyday, Dude in the neighborhood with problems. That's why I said your your music was motivational. Yeah. And it was hard and it was heartfelt, but it was like, oh, he talking about something. Yeah. I didn't listen to the part of shit because yeah. I was sacking up. Right. Oh, you ain't nigga, feel like I didn't want to hear that shit. Yeah, I'm listening to a motherfucker who really got something going on. I'm like, oh, this nigga is fine. Man, listen, I was I had the scale in the booth. Like, uh, you know, all the all them YouTube videos where you can see the upper part of me. Yes. But you see me fundling shit yes. right here. Yeah, I was working while I was working on my craft. Yeah. Because in real you know, I had to pay bills, man. This shit had to get done. And I ain't never I ain't no um 
I ain't really social. Like, you know, I don't really like hanging with niggas. I ain't I into... I in your news. You said it. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, party, partying didn't never entice me. I wasn't into it. I didn't really want to do it. And, and I'm naturally paranoid. Like, we'd be somewhere, we in a crowd, you know, we in a fucking, in a club and shit. And, you know, it's a bunch of niggas in here. I'm like, shit, I don't know what none of these niggas is on. So I'm like this the whole time. <laughs> By the time we get, I'm tired, nigga. My neck been swimming in the whole fucking... <laughs> nigga, I'm ready to go. <laughs> And you know that you, you know we you we went <laughs> right. I'm the only one paying attention. Everybody else high and drunk. <laughs> Niggas stepping on your feet. Nigga right. get mad at you because he stepped on your feet. Right. Damn, bro. My bad, bro. Right. Damn, bro. Right. Damn, bro. Right. Damn, bro. Right. Damn, nigga, you stepped on me. Right. Fuck you, mad at me for. <laughs> but you know, like I ain't never like I ain't never enjoyed that environment. So. I just was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to get my money and take care of what I got to take care of and all the other shit, man. Y'all keep that shit. Then a lot of people around me started dying and the places they was dying in was places that I was invited to I just didn't go to. Like, you know, it'd be uh, like my homeboy got killed. They were shooting dice. My brother was out there shooting dice. You know, I just want to hang with my brother. At some point, the shit he liked to do just ain't what I like to do. I can't do it. Like, I don't smoke, I don't drink. That shit don't work for me. And I'm a firm believer that everything ain't for everybody. So, you know, I treated all that shit the same way. I was selling dope and nobody knew it. Like, I was on some, I don't know you, nigga. I ain't serving you nothing. I tell you, I'm not, I don't know you, nigga. I'm not serving you shit. I, don't, this, I was bagging up a zone. I'm still, I ain't serving you shit. I don't know you. I serve him. I know him. If he fuck with you, that's on y'all. But I ain't, if he come to me, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't got nothing. I'm right. cool. We ain't rocking. But, you know, from there, I, I spent so much time to myself that, you know, the the shit, it was easier to, it was easier to make the kind of music I wanted to make. I ain't got one nobody in the, I turned my bedroom into a studio. All the videos, people think I'm in the closet. And in real time, I turned my bedroom into the studio. But all them, all them nights, I'm in there by myself. I can say whatever, like it's a, it's a, uh, I did like a, a freestyle of Maxwell, Pretty Wings. Mm -hmm. If you watch this shit, I'm on that bitch singing and everything. I can't say worse shit. I was just, but I'm enjoying it. Ain't nobody present to laugh at it. Ain't nobody there to say, man, you shouldn't have said that or you went right. too far. No, I can do what the fuck I want to do. And then, you know, as I, as I, you know, as my career flourished, I just kept that same, you know, that same philosophy. Like, you know, and, and the way I rock, it's all essential personnel only. Mm -hmm. If we're in the studio and you don't got nothing to do with this, go home. We can hang out some other time, some other place. I'm at work, though. Even if we just sitting here and listening to beats, I'm at work. And I don't come to your job and chill with you. Because I mean, only one of us is making money. Mm -hmm. I ain't real time, man. You know, I don't need you present. I don't need you, you know... You, when you do that, then you wind up with 50 niggas in here that ain't got, ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You wind up in other niggas' shit because that nigga know that nigga and that nigga, and I don't know damn one of these niggas. Right. You know, I ain't never liked none of that, so I always kept the environment closed. Like, you know, if we in the studio, most times, shit, it's just me and the engineer, or, you know, me, the engineer, and the producer. Now, you know, I, I'm kind of, I'm trying to, uh, you know. Huh? Work with others. Yeah, definitely. Right. Well, but I mean, that's, how, that's how you got CP. He's been there. Indeed, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like now I'm trying to Maybe do to do like I definitely was the bootlegger. <laughs> you were the bootlegger? Yeah. Nah, he was. Oh, okay, okay. The big, the big book. <laughs> uh, yeah, back when them CDs was jumping. Oh, <laughs> crazy. Man, oh, even then, but when CDs was jumping, I was booming CDs. I wasn't. My shit just wasn't nobody else's shit. I had learned how to take a nigga beat. Like you leave, you leave one bar open. I'ma loop the shit out. This shit is gonna be mine. Mm -hmm. So I will make my whole tape off of your shit. You put a tape out. I got your tape too. Right. I got the whole shit. I'm, I'm, I'm on every song you on. <laughs> then I, you know, I had got clever enough with this shit. I started leaving people verses on it. So you know, it, shit, oh, it's for the camera. Right, it's a camera run song. Uh -huh. Oh, it's the camera run feature. The uh, triple and <laughs> shit. You know? So when I see it now, I be seeing people do it now. I don't, you know, I don't really trip about it. it just be funny to me because I'm like, you know, okay, I come. From, it's a, you know, it's more technology right. to do that shit now. Cause I had to work to pull that shit off, boy. I ain't, I ain't so know. One of Lido. Man, I met Lido. I was on the road with. Uh, I was on the road with Gotti, mm -hmm. and he stopped in Nashville. And like I say, I don't want to sit with you while you making money. So I can't remember what it was he was doing, but he was doing his job. I don't want to like you know just be chilling with you while you're doing that. So you know we just trying to bounce out and go do other shit. And Lido called uh, Zedzilla. 
He had a guy with him that wanted to buy a verse from Zed. So, you know, I, I'm just riding. I just don't want to be, you know, in the mix with this. I'm like, shit, that's perfect. I, you know, I get to meet Star. So we pull up, you know, I meet Star. Star, it was a house full of niggas, too. I like, meet Star, I meet his cousin. A few of the people that I met, like, we still tight to this day. Like, you know, uh, Star Cousins, like, family to me. He was at my, shit, at my wedding, my baby shower was all that kind of shit. But either way, you know, uh, and I meet Star, it's our first time meeting. I holler at him, you know, then I get out of the way, so, you know. They can handle this. Right. And while I'm chilling, I'm in the uh, I'm in the living room and shit. And they playing, I wanna say like college football. Them niggas was too serious with this. I played the game too. Mm. But they was far too serious. Uh, I don't I don't know no players, period. I don't watch sports. Mm. I can play it on the game, but other than that, you know, man, them niggas knew all kinds of shit. They knew when the ball was for the they they knew far too much shit. Right. So I'm just sitting and observing and his cousin come back down, he like, you know, uh, Bro got, you know, bro want to holler at you. So I go up there, and he didn't talk to the nigga that was getting the verse from Zed and getting the verse from me. And for me, that was, you know, that said something in itself, because, you know, one, he a complete stranger, and two, ain't no nigga going, ain't no nigga going to help you get some money. They ain't, you know, that's fucking up, that's unheard of. Right, right. So when he did that, I'm, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, I, I appreciate that to the utmost. Right. Then we're on the road, so I can't, you know, I can't sell dope on the road. So, I mean, if I needed that bridge, I, you know, I appreciated it. So after that, I want to say, um, I want to say like shortly after that session, Star had turned some shit on, and man, I, I dropped a verse, and that one verse turned into like, we probably have three or four more sessions after that. And each time, like we never had no real plan to like do a Step Brothers tape. The shit just was working. It shit, you know, it was organic. And for you know, we got four or five songs in, in a day. So fuck it. Shit, huh? let's go for it. Why not? And I, at, at that moment, I was signed to, um, I was signed to Interscope with, with Cool and Dre. It was like a, it was a joint venture. Mm -hmm. And in most cases, you know, in the music business, you you know, you be signed, you're signed to them, and then they signed to that. Mm -hmm. I had worked it where, you know, I was a, I ain't know enough, but still, I was a mutual partner in the shit, so I had to say, which also is the reason why the shit didn't work, because I get to say no. Right. You can't make me do it. And some of the shit I might have been unreasonable or unreasonable about, I couldn't tell you what it, what I was unreasonable about, but I'm just a firm person. Some shit I just can't do. And if I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna do it. Cause right. I gotta, you know, I gotta live with that shit. It was certain shit they wanted me to do that I would've had to explain to my kids now. Right. They go pull these videos up, Dad, why you like a goofball? Well, cause somebody said I had to do that to get some money. All right. Like, <laughs> that what I'm saying? You know, I, I, I couldn't sit with that. Either way, you know, the label, Cool and Dre was was so very against it. They was like, man, you know, th this ain't a good look. We don't need to do it. They was, for whatever reasons they had, they never really gave reasons, but I'm one of them kind of people. Like I said, if, if the same way I ain't gonna do it if I don't wanna do it, I'm gonna do it if I wanna do it. So we did it, and then it hit. And then, you know, same niggas that was like, no, it's a bad look, man, it's a bad look. It was like, yeah, man, we was telling them, man, it was a great, this was the best idea. Man, we knew it was gonna be wonderful. And then, you know, right. But at that same time, what was happening, me and Star was getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And just like, you know, we were sitting here, we, you know, ain't, we don't dive right into shit. I didn't even know we was filming. I, you know, in the studio, it was the same thing. You know, me and Star sat, and, you know, we had, Shit, conversations first, and then you know the music shit just fell into place. Like you know, I don't know if we was filming or not when you was talking about the um, you talking about the the, the records when we tell stories mm -hmm. together. Like a lot of times we don't like it's, it's no real plan. Like I don't sit and say I'm gonna say this and and this, and then you say you gonna say that. Right. We just go. Like the same way like I was saying, you know, some, sometimes you can't plan. You just gotta let that shit go how it go. So like for example, like Caesar and Brutus. Yeah. Y'all was just going. Man, Caesar and Brutus, we the uh that was one of the beats we had played a million times. Sometimes, like the way I work, the beat might be hard and I might, you know, I might not feel feel it right now. You can play that shit two days later, it might be hard. Play it two years from now. It might be the hardest shit I have ever heard in my life. And it was one of them kind of beats. And this particular time it came on, I don't know if we had a conversation or what, but the way Star started the, the verse off, like it could have it could have not been the story the way he started the verse off. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when I heard, I'm like, 
you know, I like the di direction. Let's let's see where we go. And that's really how all our songs go. Whoever come up with something first, you go in and do your part, and we don't know where, where this is gonna go. It's all you know. You gonna go in and do yours, and then I'm gonna listen. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna, when I add mine, it's gonna change. Even if you had an idea of where you was about you to gonna go, say something else. No, what I'm about to do, going to give you new ideas. Whatever direction you had changes because I just went in there with another, you know, I added something to it. Mm -hmm. And, man, that shit just, it just create beautiful music. Oh, and that's a formula, like, we don't, we don't fuck with it. You know, we ain't trying to reinvent the wheel. When we do, um, like, when we do features for each other on each other's tapes, then, you know, we feel free. You know, we email that shit or however. Like, I can drop the song off of our passing through town or some shit. But when we doing stepbrother shit, it's all in person. No, we ain't phoning nothing in. Mm -hmm. We gonna sit down. It don't matter if we don't do one song or 12 songs tonight. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. We gonna do them shits in person right with each other. And we got the kind of relationship where, where a no don't turn into a fallout. Right. Like we can play this record. I like this record. I got some for this record. He don't really like this record. That's fine. We I, one, I'm not going to finish this record right here because we on our time. Right. I got enough respect for our situation. You're saying, we know, it's vice versa. You, that's how we work. So, all right, I know we're going to put this, I'm going to put this record to the side. And, Come up with some moves. Right. Let's do something, you know, until we get where we're going. Right. And then sometimes we'll do that and what'll happen, you know, you turn around and play that record again. Not, it it. Right. It, some, some spark then. And if it don't, then you know it's a solo record. If it do, then shit, it did what it was supposed to do. But the fact that you know, with a lot of in a lot of spaces, man, if I say man, I, don't, I ain't really, I don't really fuck with that. You know, nigga gonna feel some kind of way. Damn, you know, what, what a nigga trying to say in real time? You ain't got respect for your artistry. Right. Yep. Clearly, if you don't understand what we're going with right. it. And we never had, like, we have to sit down to have a conversation to reach that understanding. It was already there from the jump. Right, exactly. I don't got to like everything you do. You don't got to like everything I do. That's, you know, as men, that shit just was already understood. And since it was already understood, it made the, the creative process flow so, man, so I don't even know how to explain it. That shit just happened. We, That's what I was going to ask you. Do you feel like the collaboration, like, like speed it up your growth as an artist, and because you know, like as an artist, if you just go through this shit by yourself, and it's it's, it's gonna take longer to develop. I think so, cause cause while I was being signed, I was getting out of a record deal, so we both was kind of you know living vicariously through each other. You know, I'm starting a situation, he getting out of a situation. I got the headaches of you know trying to figure the situation out. He got the headaches of trying to get out of the situation. You know. Trying to get out of contract is the toughest shit in the world. Yes, it is. So, you know, while we both was going through all that, on top of that, you know, I had children. Right. So all that shit, collectively, I think that shit kind of just, it shit just chose my path for me. When I started re releasing studio albums, I sat with my guys and I'm like, man, I'm changing my whole shit. I, before I, uh, my first official album is Godspeed. Before I started on Godspeed, I had a record called uh, called Lawyer. It's on one of the, I don't know what the, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's on, I don't know what tape is on. Mm -hmm. My my shit ain't my memory ain't shit. But either way, man, we was doing shows. We doing shows in nightclubs. You know, everybody here got not the people with me. Everybody's got guns. There's guns present. Like these kind of environments, and niggas is yelling out, "Do Lawyer." I'm like, "Lawyer, do Lawyer." Of all the shit, do Lawyer. I'm like, you know, hook ain't nothing bouncy in that. But people, like, everywhere we was going, people were screaming that. And I'm like, you know, that don't even make sense to me. So I sat down, and, you know, I had to, like, watch the video. And, like, I'm trying to figure out how is it that this Wait, is the record. That bitch, that a lot of I appreciate bosses. it. But that, that's, that's what I got it from. I'm like, okay, I offer an honesty that most people either, one, ain't got the courage to admit, Mm -hmm. Or two, just, you know, don't even really know. It's, it's easy to just, you know, say trap nigga, trap nigga, Lamborghini, even if I ain't a trap nigga or got a Lamborghini. Right. You wouldn't know. This shit, all the shit's on you hearing it, you know, like how it used to be when we was younger. We ain't see the radio personalities. We just heard them. So, you know, when I, I sat and I watched the video and, you know, it, I started connecting the dots. I'm like, you know, that's what it is. That's what's mine. All the other shit in real time for me right then was just fillers. 
So I'm like, nah, the shit that grab, the shit that lasts, the shit that, you know, people be talking about, like right now, this is fucking, I don't know, probably about 12, 12, 13 years later, and people talking about lawyer. You know, you were telling me about letting to my son. That shit 14 years old. That's one of the, they don't never get dated, though. But that's what I'm saying. But it either. don't because it's the truth. Right. Yeah. And, you know, even though when we're going through shit, it feel like you're going through shit by yourself. You are in, in that sense. But ain't shit new under the sun. I'm going through some shit you probably already been through. And vice versa. You probably going through some shit I already been through. And I just happen to be the guy that don't mind saying it. And I don't care, you know, I don't care how it come out. You you can listen and say, oh, man, that was crazy you did that. Some of that shit is crazy. Some of that shit was stupid. Some of that shit was the smartest shit I ever done. But I'm going to give you all that shit because I've done it. It is what it is. It was like from the beginning to the end. And it was like, I wanted your son to hear that. <laughs> yeah, and like, then. I knew it. I was like, when he hear this, he, he don't hear daddy love him. And then, you know, he got old enough to hear it. And when I recorded, that's how I was thinking. I was thinking like, you know, when he hear this, he going to know, I, you know, I fall tooth and nail. And then what I wasn't prepared for. Like I was saying earlier, you know, you can't, this shit, you can't really plan for it. Right. What I wasn't prepared for is for him to feel, he, he felt kind of, you know, he didn't really know how to feel about it. It was great that his daddy stood, you know, stood tall for him, but at the same token, this person that his daddy don't care for, it's my mama. I love this woman. And he called her a bitch 672 times. Right. <clears throat> So, you know, it was a divide. You know, he, you know, he proud of it and disgusted by it at the same time. So I had to sit and have a real conversation. And, you know, I learned mm -hmm. something from that. Mm -hmm. I learned, one, I learned, you know, if I'm going to, if what I have to say is going to be derogatory, then I can do it without slander. I don't got to call you out your name. Right. That was the biggest thing for him. It wasn't, you know, every, nothing I said was fictitious. Right. But that part of it was Rubbing excessive, away, right? Man. That was right. no, that was me being disrespectful, right. and you know I learned. He, he taught me something. Mm -hmm. So from that, you know, I had to like sit down and have a you know a man to man with a preteen, right. and you know that that put the song in a, a different light to me because I'm like you know I ain't look at it like that. I was angry, and you know the last thing I was thinking was my son's gonna hear it and and feel a way about his mama. Right. And so, you know, so when he did, like I said, that 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 showed me something, and that was one of the moments where you know I could be a proud father, because you know, I try to teach my kids to be vocal. You know, if it bothers you, you know, you gotta say it. You know, if your feelings hurt, ain't no way I'm gonna know. I can't feel your feelings. Right. And I grew up in a house where if your feelings hurt, you're a pussy, you're a bitch, you're a wimp. So. You know, I wanted to make sure that that was one of them things I didn't carry on. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, yeah, they, they, you know, they kids, and for the most part, you make, you know, the 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 best decisions for them. But in real time, it's still people. Mm -hmm. And you know, I learned all that from a song that you know, a song that potentially got me, you know, in the spotlight. And she still be true. No, we got the best relationship in the world now. Hey, well, that's right. the best before getting Right. And they, not for nothing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was, it was a long road, Damn. but, you know, like now, that's a record I don't perform. I don't, uh, you know, I don't ride around listening to. Mm -hmm. I don't much do, you know, I don't much talk about in interviews out of the, the respect for him. Because, mm -hmm. you know, in real time, I made a record that spoke for me in the, you know, in the, the situation I was in. Mm -hmm. But, I, I could never see it from his point of view. And now that I know how he feel about it, then, you know, I try not to. He understand that, you know, this is my livelihood. And it is what it is. It's there. I can't erase it. You know, it's, it's shit. It's sketched in stone now. So you understand that. I just do what I... I, I just make sure that I don't Disrespect. revert and rub... Right. I ain't trying to rub that in. Right. It is what it is. It's done... You know, like if I stepped again, you know, I stepped on your foot, yeah, I, I done it, I ain't gonna stand here and keep, yeah, you, I scuffed you up real good. Right. Ain't no need for all of that. So that's how I look at it with, you know, when it comes to that record. But those are the records that, that you know, that guided me. Where I, right, you know, at some point I had to sit down and see what work and what don't work. And in the music business, everybody's got a gimmick. And I ain't got no gimmick. I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know how to do all that funny shit. 
And from that, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to figure it out, and that's when it snapped. I'm like, my gimmick is that I can rap. Rap itself is already a gimmick. I don't need another gimmick. Right. So that's what I did. I, I said, shit, let me show you what I can do. And shit, that shit works. Shit, OG. But I know you got some new IP because you're dropping new shit every, every. I don't got no new music. Dead ass. Listen, January 1st, 2023, uh, we sat in the studio. I said, man, I ain't. Sh-. Again, like I said, I used to spend time trying to make it perfect. Mm-hmm. I, back when, when rappers was putting out one album a year, that probably could have worked. But they don't do that no more. The internet is eating up fucking 72 songs every time you look up. Like right now, some nigga putting out 20 songs. In 10 minutes, somebody else gonna put out 20 more. Right. So I'm like, man, you know, we're doing all the, you know, I don't, I don't focus on like streaming numbers and shit. See? I play football. Right. I do Baseball, too. No, I, can, I don't want to fuck with no baseball. I can't see good enough for that. No, sir. I got hit in the face with that motherfucker. For real? Man, I can't see a little ass ball all the way back there somewhere, yeah. man. Hell yeah. no. You think it's the sun. <laughs> it's the sun. <laughs> nah, I ain't seen a damn thing. But no. Man, you did rap. But right. <laughs> well, either way, no. Man, I was sick, and I will, we, we, you know, we'll start on a, a tape. And the way I used to record, I used to record at, at minimum 30 songs and then pick 15 out of the 30 songs. I felt like if I had 15 songs that I loved that I had to push push aside, then I got a quality project. Yeah. And then, like I said, nigga, music was coming from everywhere at all times. I'm like, man, it don't really make much sense for me to be sitting and waiting. I'm trying to craft this perfect project. I ain't on no fucking label. Right. I get to do what I want to do. So I'm like, fuck it, let me do what I want to do. And what happens when you, you know, record so much music, put a tape out in September, and by January, that everything that didn't make it, that shit old to me. She gone. It's brand new to you, right. but it's old as shit to me. I don't feel it. Like, I, 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 it's almost, I'm almost self-conscious. I don't want to release this. It feel dated, mm-hmm. even if it's not dated in real time. So, in, you know, this January, we sat down. I'm like, man, fuck that. I ain't, you know, I got it. Uh, you know, archive shit. I'm like, no, nah, we gonna hold new clean slate. The way I'm about to start doing this shit, I'm gonna record and it, by the, whenever it's time to do, like, we gotta turn something in, whatever we got, that's when we turn it in. Shit in. Man, I sat with a distributor and they liked the idea. So I said, like, fuck it, we're gonna run it. And I ain't, I ain't got no, like, I ain't got no set plan, no set goal. We gonna go, we go in and whatever come out, come out. I used to, Excuse me. I used to sit down and like I had the the rapper rule book in my head. Like you know, it used to be you got to have an eight bar hook, a sixteen bar verse, three sixteen bar verses. You know, the, this song can't just come right in if the last song just came right in. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't put more than three features on your shit. That kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And then I realized I'm the only nigga following these rules. I'm the only <laughs> I'm the only nigga that even you know these rules don't even exist to. Cause I like I used to. I still fuck with Jay-Z, just the newest shit, the newest shit don't resonate for me. I don't know nothing about like billion dollar pains and shit. I ain't got the slice out there what he be talking about now. But when he when I did know what he was talking about, Jay-Z was like one of the main people I was listening to. So fast forward, we get to whatever tape that was, and he did that Beach is Better song. I was appalled. Beach is Better like fucking 50 something seconds. So I'm like, wait, the nigga that taught me how to do it. Just did a 50 second song? What the what is, what is this? Right. So after I, you know, realized I don't know this nigga, so he don't owe me no explanation. Right. I'm like, man, I'm following rules that nobody's following. The niggas that taught me these rules don't follow these yeah. rules. So I'm like, man, it don't make no sense for me to go in here and again, I'm trying to perfect this shit. I'm trying to make it be like the, the greatest shit you ever heard. 300 bars. Right. I'm doing all this extra shit. Yeah. Three full verses. That's what I'm saying. We're going to do all that shit. And I, man, listen, I learned my lesson. I, we do all that shit. We play the song while we on the road. And after my fucking first verse, nigga, they went to the next song. Nigga, now I'm gonna say that I said on the second and third verse, and you just right. skip to the next song. Right. Ain't your fault though. You just listening. You know, especially if you the driver. If you the driver, you just gotta you got a vibe, and we gotta let the driver play what he gonna play. Oh. So after that, I'm like, man, I'm making these long ass records for who? For myself? Man, I ain't, I ain't getting this to make the music for myself. If I was gonna do that, I could just play the shit to myself. 
So after that, man, I said, fuck the rules. I'm just going to go in this bitch, and whatever comes out, comes out. Like, you can listen to some of the shit I dropped this year. Man, you're going to hear my, my I got an uh, eight-month-old son. You're going to hear him in the background. You're going to hear the fucking, uh, one, one of the records I was recording, I ain't even realize it until I, I, I was finished. But the baby monitor's beeping, because it, it, the battery low, I ain't plug it in. <laughs> I don't give a shit. That's just there. That's my real life in real time. I listen to uh, um, it's my boy Gucci Man. Gucci Man got a son. He say, moly, 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 whoa, bankroll. Nobody know what he say, but they know he say bankroll. Right. I, I'm like, man, if you can, you know, this the vibe. They fuck with the vibe, all right? That mean, you know, I'm doing a little too much. I'm trying to make this shit perfect again. Ain't no need to do that. Man, you know, the shit that we end up liking be the shit that's not perfect because it's not perfect. So I sat down and said, fuck it. So right now, I don't got, I got one song right now. And you know, I ain't in no hurry. This shit come when it come. I might get in the studio tonight, I might not. You know, I might get in there tomorrow, I might not. If it happen, it happen. If it don't, it don't. And shit, I done eight tapes so far, so, you know. So, yeah. it's, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna do what it's supposed to do. But you know, I I, I think that's the the, that's the hidden fruit of my label. Like, you know, I don't, that's something no, no people can't really see. And I ain't a flashy person, so, you know, I don't wear my successes on me. And since I don't, like, you know, for a long time, people thought I fell off. People thought I was gone, you know, whatever they thought. And a lot of the times, it's because I don't, like, I ain't, like, no barbershop advocate. I ain't, you know, I, man, I be feeling like you spend too much time doing all that shit. You, you know, you care a little too much about it. You know, without saying too much. I think you care a little too much about it. So I'm like, man, you know, no, I ain't doing none of that. I'm going to go to the barber when I go. Man, my son go like every two weeks. So when I go to the barber, my bill high as shit because, you know, my, I don't. He be done it up. Right. Yeah. But either way, I don't know when it went. Right. He, they, he know what's taken care of. But I'm just saying, you know, when I go, I don't know when the last, like right now, I don't know when the last time I went. That shit not important to me. I got my, my, my clippers in the car. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you need a little, you know, I, I, I charge $2,000. Well, no. <laughs> right. 